everybody, Bishrek, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. In today's live, um, I bring on my man, Trevin, um, talking about Amazon FBA and just some, you know, some issues that many beginners are having in 2019 and how they can really be avoided. What's going on, Trevin? How are you today, brother? I'm doing super great. I'm super excited to be on here with you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, my man. Absolutely. So as many of you guys know that um, every single day I bring on an entrepreneur, um, you know, who has a product or a service that can, you know, help you guys out and uh, to making an impact in your lives as part of the initiation of my movement, the underdogs movement um, to help impact the lives of 2,500 people in 2019. So once again, guys, um, Trevin here in the house, uh, we're going to be talking about Amazon FBA and uh, just kind of how things have uh, been working out for, for both of us, really. So, Trevin, why don't you take us back a little bit to, you know, where you come from, you know, who Trevin really is, and how did you get started with Amazon FBA? Awesome. Well, I, I'm nothing special, to be completely honest. I'm 23 years old. I started my kind of e-commerce journey, if you will, um, at like two years ago. Uh, back, I guess it was like two and a half years ago in 2016 is when I kind of started my entire journey. I started with Shopify dropshipping. I was just trying everything. I was trying to start my own business. I didn't have much success. And it didn't come until a friend introduced me to Amazon FBA is when I actually figured out that, hey, making money online is legit. It's possible. It's not a scam. Um, and as soon as I figured that about, I went all in, just started ordering products, ordering products and kind of failed a bunch of times. And just kind of taught myself through failures and little by little i started picking up what's important what's what's not what do i need to do to be successful and six months six months later after i kind of started fba i quit my nine to five job dropped out of school uh, dropped out of college and now i sell on amazon full time i started a youtube channel trying to help other people do the same thing and I'm just living the best life that I possibly can because of Amazon FBA. So um, that's me. I mean, I try to be as transparent, as real as it gets. I love fly fishing. I love hiking. I love being in the outdoors, boating, anything with water. I enjoy it. I love traveling. So that's a little bit about me as well. That's awesome, man. It's great. You know, it's it's um, it's um a great thing to see, you know, such a young entrepreneur. I mean, I don't even remember what the hell I was doing at 23. You know, I was probably partying somewhere, drinking, stuff like that. You know, I'm 29 years old right now. I feel like a grandpa, but <laughs> you know it is what it is. Um, it's it's awesome seeing you know such a young entrepreneur actually taking over the the you know taking over their life pretty much and uh, making things happen for them for their loved ones. I see pictures of you and, and the wife you know kind of traveling all you know literally all over the place. You guys are always out, always doing something exciting. So it's definitely a luxury that you know I know you are enjoying today. Um, and that you've seen many others um, do the same as well. Now, why don't you take us through your business today? You know what it looks like. What um, what concept you do on Amazon? I know there's people into private label. There's people into arbitrage. And what really, which um, concepts have you done in the past, and which ones do you personally recommend? So I started with drop shipping. Um, I did not have any success whatsoever. It's very difficult. People want their products in two days. So that's when I got introduced to Amazon and I started doing private label. That's basically where I get products manufactured, manufactured overseas, drop, basically drop ship them to an Amazon fulfillment center. Um, you're ordering the inventory up front. And then as soon as people order that product, Amazon does the fulfillment. Um, so that's kind of the private label method. I've done retail arbitrage. I, I've done uh, eBay where I go to the thrift store, pick up items and I flip them. I buy it for a dollar, flip it for 80. It's just that business model is very difficult to scale. And so out of all the business models that I've tried and I've tested and I've done, Amazon FBA has been something where I can actually scale. There's kind of a system. It's a formula where you, if, if you just do this, this, and that, you can be successful. And that's kind of what I've been able to do is just right. replicate that success over and over with private label. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Definitely, definitely. Well, you know, same with me. You know, you know, I was totally broke. I had just literally lost my business, and uh, you know, I was just kind of like in a ditch, right? I had no no money to do do anything, and I with online arbitrage, I guess you want to say, and um, like drop shipping, and 
as you know, everyone on Amazon is used to product in two days. And then when you're trying to order from like Walmart or Target, they tell you that the product isn't going to be there until like two weeks or three weeks or whatever. And it's, it's definitely a nightmare. <laughs> and it happened to me a lot of times where I thought it was the right product. But then when it got to the customer, it was like kind of different in like a way where you really couldn't tell. And, uh, you know, I, I know I got my, my account suspended a couple of times. Now, I know, you know, we both know that Amazon isn't um, what it used to be before. Correct. What is, I guess, what is the one thing that you would suggest to someone trying to start Amazon FBA today or that have started Amazon FBA in, in, you know, in the past couple of months to avoid, you know, making what's, what's the one mistake that you, you know, suggest someone avoiding in 2019? So, I mean, there's a few things that come to my mind and kind of like what you said, you got your account suspended for doing something, whatever it was. So many sellers are getting their account suspended because they don't know what they're doing and they're just going up, winging it, throwing up random products, selling products that have patents on it, infringing on trademarks, trying to sell restricted products, trying to get fake reviews. And they're just trying to manipulate the system and taking shortcuts. Therefore, you're going to get your Amazon account suspended, blocked, um, and basically banned from selling on Amazon. So you need to understand what you can and can't do. And so many times people want to take these shortcuts. And the reality in business in general, you have to be willing to put in the work. You can't take shortcuts. There's no such business model where overnight you just start doing something and you start making money. You have to be willing to put in the work up front. Okay. and not take these shortcuts and if you do put in the work then you get rewarded so that would be my biggest recommendation for new sellers is understand what you're doing absolutely definitely man i you know i couldn't i couldn't agree more um with you on that point because i see so many different people trying to you know and it, there was um, a post a few months back and it said uh you know i opened uh it was i think like it was a spider-man or something sitting behind a desk and the uh, caption said um, I opened an, uh, an Amazon account yesterday or I launched my first product yesterday. Uh, you know, where's the money or where's the millions or something like that. And many people think that it's like some type of a, uh, you know, get rich quick type of thing where they're just going to start launching a bunch of products and all of a sudden money's going gonna, gonna to start, you know, floating everywhere. Um, and, and, and it's really not like that, you know. Um, now, another thing that also a lot of people um, are saying today is that, you know, Amazon FBA is dead. You know, uh, they're saying that it's a lot more competitive than what it used to be before and that, you know, the profits are just not there. The margins are just not there. You know, it's very saturated. Um, you know, it, it's just not there anymore. What do you have to say about that? So, I mean, I kind of look at the data. Amazon in 2018 did $225 billion in sales. And 50% of those sales came from third-party sellers just like me and you. Right. So when I look at the data right there, I mean, it's obviously not dead. A lot of people are making a stinking crap load of money. It's right. just whether or not you're willing to put in the work to do that. And also the online kind of shopping in general, it's mm-hmm. almost like 50% of everything spent online is through Amazon. So when people say it's dead, I mean, you're crazy. I mean, look at the data, look where people are shopping. There's always new products. There's always new trends. It's, it's, there's so much room for growth. It's kind of crazy. And for people to say that it's dead, it kind of makes me laugh and believe that because I mean, then that creates more opportunity for me and you. That's right. Absolutely. You know it. <laughs> you couldn't have said it any any better because literally if I had to answer that question, I would have answered it exactly. I almost heard myself and you talking, you know. So I I always say the same thing. I always look, you know, say, look at the 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 numbers, you know, look at the revenue in the past decade. They've literally grown anywhere between ten to twenty five percent, you know, um, in revenue every single year. And also look at, as you said, look at the shopping habits. I came to the U.S. back in 06, and I remember passing by Best Buy the first time. I never knew what Best Buy was, and it just so happened to be uh, uh, Black Friday, and I saw a line wrapped around the building. Today, I mean, Black Friday comes and goes. You don't even know it's Black Friday anymore. You know, no one really goes down to the store and buys things anymore. It's all done online, really. You know, and and, and having Amazon accounting for over 50% of the entire online market share, I mean, it's just, it just really, I guess if you're not part of it, you're just crazy, right? Uh, 
another thing that uh, keeps coming up, um, and many of my you know students, people, my clients, people that are trying to sell on Amazon, things like that, are struggling with, which is reviews. Um, what is? Do you have a proven method, or do you have a system that you personally use to obtain reviews? Um, at least for like a, a new seller or like a brand new listing. We all know with private label, although sales volume is very crucial, but also reviews are really important as well. So do you personally have a proven mes uh, method or, uh, you know, something that people can use to gain their initial reviews? So for me, I, I'm looking, it, it all starts with product research in my opinion. If, right. if you're looking to launch a product that's really competitive, the average reviews is let's say even over 75 it's going to be a lot more difficult and you are going to have to manipulate the system to get reviews right. it's, that's just right. the way it works i would say if 90 percent of people do it um and whether or not you get caught i mean that's that's your choice i'm not saying to manipulate the review system because that's not what i like teaching i'd rather go after a product where it's not so much dependent on how many reviews you get Right. how many sales you're going to get. So I'm looking at less competitive products. I kind of compare it to home run products for single products. Instead of right. just trying to smash the ball, get, make a home run, go for these single products that are less competitive. You don't have these Chinese hijackers and right. you can do buy with getting one, two, three reviews. And you can ask your friends and your families that live outside of the state. That's what I would recommend. Don't mess with anyone inside your state. Ask a few of your friends whether it's one or two, and if you have one to two reviews with a really low competitive product, it the reviews don't make that big of a difference. And then as you start ranking your product, you have your email autoresponder, you have the your thank you cards, right? And then you get the organic reviews, and it became it becomes a lot easier, and you just get that traction, and then slowly that listing that does five thousand a month is right. then doing fifteen. So right. just, you start small and then you kind of grow off of that. And that's kind of right. what I teach. And that's my style of doing private label. Absolutely, man. Definitely. And, you know, you, you, once again, you couldn't have really said any, any better. Um, it, to me, it's like, uh, you know, you always look at it as it just snowballs. You know, you, the more sales you get, the higher you rank, the more reviews you get, the higher sales, the more, you know, it just kind of snowballs, everything snowballs. So definitely, I mean, I, I a hundred percent agree with you. Um, Another topic that always comes up is launch. Um, what is something that you can say, you know, comfortably here on the channel? Um, what is your style of launch? You know, do you do giveaways? Do you do PPC? Um, do you do either or? Do you have a different, you know, method that you, you know, you'd care uh, sharing with us today? So as, as crazy as it seems, I've never, ever used a giveaway service to launch any of my products. And okay. the reason being is I go for less competitive products where I don't have to give away so many units. I mean, the hard thing with giveaways is you, you have to give away like 300 units to rank. And right. that 300 units could be $1,000. And a right. lot of people don't have $1,000 to spend. I mean, Absolutely. you're starting out with 300 units. So right. if you are in that situation where you don't have a big budget, then you cannot go after a competitive product because the reality is, is if you're selling a competitive product, the only way to rank is to do giveaways. Absolutely. So I, I mainly do uh, PPC campaigns, really heavy on PPC campaigns. Um, it's a lower competitive product. I go after these different keywords. I'm using right. Helium 10 Cerebro, um, pulling the reverse ASIN lookup. You can find these keywords that no one is using. There's like 100, 200 competing products. And the paper right. click for those keywords are super, super low. And so you I can agree. rank on those lower search uh, keywords and then slowly, slowly build your way up to the higher search terms. So PPC right. and then another awesome way, um, which I've had some of my friends do on, on a super competitive product is ManyChat launching uh, with right. Facebook ads um, and right. basically having coupons saying, hey, enter in your name here, we'll send you a coupon right. code. And doing it that way and that way in my opinion for a competitive product is by far the best way to launch but for a less competitive product just doing PPC campaigns and then also using the giveaway service I've done this a right. few times inside Amazon itself you can right. get some traction with that as well so um, it just kind of depends on the product is kind of the approach that I take absolutely man that's awesome that's great so 
I mean, you know, and and kind of like it's I always say, listen, it's the 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 whatever the road you take, you know, it doesn't matter how you go to it as long as you get there, you know, like once again, I like doing a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit more heavier on the giveaways, but absolutely I don't like giving away 300 units. You know, I make sure that we look for products that are, you know, low uh, low on competition um, and, you know, we go about it that way. So everyone got, you know, got their own way. That's why, you, you know, I really wanted to see the way that you do it, which is pretty awesome. Now, with so many tools out there with for product research, you know, uh, uh, reverse ASIN, launches, all these things, what is one of your current favorite um, you know, tool out there today that you love using and you really suggest it to everyone watching today? So in my opinion, the tool that has changed my entire FBA business is Helium 10. Right. What they're doing, I mean, it is incredible for the amount of tools that you get for the price and the right. tools that they offer just literally are, are, in my opinion, this is my opinion, Trevin Peterson's opinion, are better than Viral Launch, are better than Jungle Scout. Um, right. And especially for the value, you're, you're right. just getting so much. And I would have to say Helium 10 Cerebro would be my all-time favorite tool because it helps me with product research and it helps me to optimize my listing and my PPC campaigns. So that tool, if you don't have it, I would highly recommend that you have it. Absolutely, man. And actually, in fact, I um, I had a couple guys, uh, Michael and um, I, I forgot the uh, the, uh, the Bradley, Brad Michael and Bradley. I had them uh, interviewed on my channel a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. You know, awesome dudes. Um, I personally use it. I just started using it. You know, recently. I love it. You know, I've always been a jungle scout type of guy. And uh, and that's where I was at at the very beginning. Right. Of right. Absolutely. And then viral launch kind of you know started creeping up. But I I don't know for whatever reason I never really made this switch from jungle scout to viral launch but uh now honestly i'm kind of you know leaving jungle scouts and going after um uh helium 10 just because as you said all the different tools they have and all the different things they offer for the price for the value and for the accuracy because i think that's one of the most important things is that you know a lot of times yeah sure the price is great but the the accuracy you know and i've done a one time i did a video on my channel where I, you know, I researched the same exact products and things like that using Jungle Scouts, using Viral Launch, and the two gave me kind of different, like dramatically, you know, different uh, uh, results, which was kind of scary, you know. So I always say, I suggest for, um, you know, everyone that follows me, don't depend heavily on one, you know, maybe like if you can afford it, if you can afford it, I totally understand. Uh -huh. But if you can't afford it, maybe have like two at least. And um, I, have. I use Jungle Scout and Helium 10 kind of hand in hand because right. I, I mean I have the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. I'll have it forever. So right. I'll Absolutely. use that and I'll verify it. And I kind of use them both just like what you're saying. Very, very Absolutely. important. Absolutely, brother. So listen, um, I really appreciate you, you know, coming with us here on this channel. Really appreciate you. You know, it's it's an honor having you here. I Thank know you. you're you're a hustler. I know you're you're one of the people out there, Amazon sellers that I personally look up to, you know that literally have just come from, you know, nothing and kind of just making it all the way to the top. Um, do you actually offer some type of uh, mentoring or a course or of some sort that anyone watching can, you know, get a hold of or can, you know, get you to, to help them out? I, I actually do. And I, it's, it's, it's kind of a, sen uh, a sensitive t uh, subject to a lot of people where they think these Amazon gurus are just out there trying to make as much money as possible. Right. And I, I do offer a course. Um, so if you guys do want to check that out, you can, uh, we'll include the link down below. You can check out my YouTube channel. You can see what I offer. And basically the course, it's it's a step-by-step -step A to Z course. I take you through the whole process. Um, you have my mentorship. And the biggest part that I offer is I'll do product verification. So before right. you order a product, you can send it by me. I'll verify it, double, triple check for you so that you feel 100% confident in making that first order. Um, I know at least for me in the very beginning, it was very kind of, uh, do I order this product? What do I do? And right. so that's why I offer that um, along with my program. And then I have the mentorship side as well, where you can ask me any question and I'm here to literally hold your hand to help you succeed. Uh, to help you succeed. So I do offer that. You can check that out. Uh, we'll include that uh, down below as well. Absolutely. So um, definitely in the uh, pinned comment below, if anyone watching live or in replay um, who wants Trevin to help him out, 
uh, we'll have a link to his his mentoring and we'll also have a link to his YouTube channel. You know, he uh, periodically is posting free content on YouTube, so you guys can check him out as well. Um, before we wrap this up, is there anything you want to add for anyone starting Amazon FBA in 2019? My biggest piece of advice is get started. So right. many times, I mean, I've, I've, I've had students, I've had people reach out to me and they're like, I've known about Amazon since 2016, but I'm still in the product research phase. <laughs> I'm <laughs> crazy, dude. Like, you, you gotta do something, you, you gotta take action, you gotta get started. And Absolutely. so that would be my biggest piece of, of advice. Don't feel like you need to know everything. I mean, right. You're not, um, but you do need to have a good understanding. But right. I just want you guys to get started, change your life, take action, and if you do that, you'll you'll thank yourself down the road. Absolutely, man. Definitely take action. You know, start somewhere. You know, and you don't have to. You need to know enough not to screw up, and that's why I always say start small and just kind of build up as you go. Don't start too big. Like don't <laughs> launch three, four products and you know, launch one product. Just kind of go with it as you go. And then kind of build from there. But if you, as you said, if you're just going to sit on the sidelines and keep doubting yourself and saying, well, Amazon is saturated. Well, this and all that, you know, two, three years will go by and, and it will get saturated. And you just kind of never took action and, and never got started. But Trevor, my man, really appreciate you coming live with us. Of course. Um, you know, really honored. Uh, once again, guys, anyone watching, he is tagged in the description. So if you guys drop a comment below and if you guys need him to answer your question, He'll get notified or guys can even, you know, send him a direct message. Also in the pinned comment, I'm going to be putting a link to his YouTube channel and a link to his mentoring course if you guys want him to take you step by step through the uh, the process. Um, you know, he'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, but Trevin, I really appreciate you, brother. Thank you very much for coming live with us. Anyone watching, be sure to uh, tune in every single day. Well, not every single day, but Monday through Saturday. 5.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time for another episode of the Daily Live Underdogs show. Um, thank you very much, but, uh, my man. I'll um, I'll see you around. I know that me and you are going to be doing business in the future. Uh, but um, thank you, everyone that's watching. You all have a great day and take care. Thank you.